it's sin once again back with another video and if you want to know what i'm doing today stay tuned t-shirt check all right t-shirtpreneurs today your girl is gonna be doing an embroidery video so today i'm gonna be embroidering a sweatshirt for the first time never embroidered a sweatshirt before as you guys know i recently got my embroidery machine a little over a month ago i'm all in now so i'm gonna go ahead and um show y'all the design that i'm gonna be embroidering and then i'm gonna show you the sweatshirt all right so you see right here this girl power design is what i'm going to be putting on to the hoodie and hopefully y'all can get a good look at it right there and y'all see my sister <laughs> i ain't gonna put i ain't gonna put that part on her and right here this is the hoodie that i'm going to be putting it on to right here so I'm going to go ahead and hoop it up right quick. Hey, y'all got that basketball reference right there. And get it ready to go on to the machine. And um, let you guys check things out. For this, I'm going to be using the cutaway stabilizer right here. And I'm going to be using the 8 by 9 Mighty Hoop. So I'm first going to flip this over on the other side. Like a so. Like this, like so. Like so, like this. Just like that there. Now that it's on the wrong side, it does have this little uh, center line down the center of it, which makes it a little bit easier for me to uh, see where the center is at. And I'm going to go ahead, grab this stabilizer right here, and make sure it's the perfect size for, for me to uh, put on here. So... I'm going to move it out of the way of the hoodie because I don't want to want to make sure that I don't accidentally cut the hoodie. And just lay this stabilizer out right here. Okay, so I got this right here. And go ahead and cut it a little bit bigger right here. Go ahead and cut this. Usually, I cut it on my cutting mat so that I can make sure to line everything up but it'll be all all right what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this spray adhesive and i'm going to spray it on to the back of this and you want to make sure that when you're spraying using spray adhesive that you do not spray it on your hoops or on to your machine especially on your machine you can clean the hoops up but you don't want to damage your machine because this got this little ball in here, I guess you're supposed to shake it up. Y'all know I ain't all about reading the directions like talking about. So, so we're just going to lightly spray it, I guess, if it's going to come out. <coughs> Alright, we sprayed it. Hopefully that's enough. And turn that over. And we're going to put this on here like, like so. And then make sure it's straight. And actually, I should bring that down a little bit. Bring it down a couple of inches. And it ain't going to stick after a while if I keep peeling it up, huh? All right. Got it right there. And is it centered? My bad, y'all. Y'all know I'm new. I'm showing y'all my real first of everything I do. All right, so we got that on here. So now what we're going to do is flip it back over. Ah, okay. That basically was a waste of time because y'all see what just happened. It peeled right off, y'all. It peeled right off. But I saw a woman do this. I saw a woman do that on the video and it worked. Y'all give, give me a sec. Y'all know. Probably because I lifted it up. And I didn't really spray that much on there. But we're going to try this one more time. And if it don't work this time. I'm going to do it the t-shirt cheek way. We're going to try spraying a little bit more on here. Okay. 
All right. Hopefully that's no. <coughs> My bad. I forgot to cough. All right. So we got this on here. There I go pulling it up again, y'all. So it won't stick once again. I guess I don't want it to stick. All right. So we got that on there. And hopefully it's on there good enough this time. So we're going to gently, ever so gently, ever so gently. Yeah, it's working this time, y'all. All right. Ever so gently. Like a little baby. All right, so now we are going to take this. And I'm going to take this and put it as centered as I can on here. So, let me see. That would be about like that. Make sure everything is straightened out. Slide this up in here and try to make sure that it's as centered as I can get it. As centered as gravity, if that's a thing. Alright, so we're going to find out if it's centered once I put this thing down on it because it is, this is where the center lines are. Alright, so it needs to, it needs to go over slightly. Need to go over just a little bit, y'all. Make sure that it is straight. This part, y'all, can be pretty challenging, especially if you don't have mighty hoops because I'm telling you, I... I did some hooping. I don't know if y'all have seen that video yet, but it can be pretty challenging. Okay, so. Oops. It is not straight, so we're going to straighten it up. And I got this thing turned the wrong way. It needs to be turned this way. Y'all make sure y'all don't make that mistake. But just to find out where the center marking is at, that might have been good. This be a challenge sometimes, y'all. Y'all, sometimes this is like a little trial and error thing right here. Because you, you just got to uh, keep doing it until you get it exactly centered the way you need it to be. Alright, so... That should be the center line going up. Okay, that's that's pretty good right there. That's pretty good. I'm going to let y'all check it out and see what y'all think about it. Um, y'all think it's center good enough? I think it's good. I think it's good. We're going to go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here where the machine is at. And I'm going to go ahead and find the image. Okay. All right, so now we're going to put the colors that we want. So, all right, y'all. So that's what it's going to be right there. Sorry, I was having some issues and I couldn't really um, let y'all see what it was going to look like. But that, that's what it's going to look like right there. And y'all get to see the stitch out. Okay, y'all. So one thing I did not do is a test stitch out. This is a design that I got offline. And it had decent reviews, so it should work out fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it. Hopefully it won't mess anything up. And I am using a frame that my machine does not recognize. So I have to make sure which my machine is going to do the trace no matter what. You cannot use this machine without doing the trace. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do the trace before I print it. So I, I do want it to start in the center. So we should be good to go. 
we go see. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I think we're ready. It seems like we're ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to start. All right. Make sure all the colors. Okay, we good to go. All right. So here we go, y'all. I probably should have changed that bobbin thread. Bobbin thread break, like I was saying. I probably should have changed the bobbin thread. Let me check this bad boy. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and put a new bobbin thread in here, y'all, because this one is low. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. And that way, I don't have to worry about the bobbin breaking. Take this bobbin, uh, Thread, if you can find the end of it. Let me get a different one because that one obviously don't want to be used next because I don't even see the end of it. Okay. So we're going to thread this bobbin right here. Slide it down through there. And we bring it around here and we wrap it twice. One. One. Two. Hopefully that's wrapped twice. I'm gonna cut this little part off. I don't like to leave it so long. I don't think it's nothing wrong with leaving it long, but hey, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit reset and we're gonna step back one, two, three, four, five steps and go ahead and hit start. Work, 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 work
take it off the machine. If I can take it off. That's what everything is looking like right here. Let me go ahead and unhoop it. bring it over here to the light so y'all can see it better yeah i um i was not 100 satisfied with how everything came out y'all and one reason that i was wasn't 100 satisfied is because this i don't know if it was my fault or if it was because of the way they digitized it but i'm gonna let y'all see all right so as y'all see right here it is further down than I normally would like it um I could have I probably needed to hoop like this part into it because I was like really close if y'all can see the hoop marks I was kind of close to the hoop right there but that that's what it's looking like um one of the things I didn't like like right here I don't know if y'all can tell on the video but how thin that is that should be thicker that's like a satin satin stitch that should be thicker like you can kind of see like right there it's thicker right there it's thicker in some places but then it's thinner but this was a free design that i found online i do gotta cut it and clean it up like you see jump stitches and different things right there i do have to cut that and clean clean things up but um this is basically what it is um it's down a little further it should have been about up here at least here maybe even up higher but you know with a hoodie and with the with hooping it up but this was my first one i can only get better from here and the colors um it it would have i don't know it would have been better if it would have been thicker but um the colors for that gray maybe i should have used like a orange or a red something bright right there but that's what it's looking like so y'all just watch me embroider on my first hoodie and if y'all like the video y'all know what to do to show your support and also i do have classes that i will be teaching right here at overflow studios if y'all interested y'all can go to imprintsquad.com and check out the details for that i do have the schedule on there y'all can go on there and sign up and i do have limited spaces because it's just me and because you know we can only have so many people in here with everything going on you don't want to have it packed out now the deadline for each of the classes is the monday before the weekend of the class at midnight if y'all interested go to imprintsquad.com and check that out and i appreciate y'all watching and i will see you in another video and until then be blessed <music>